Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. It's absolutely fantastic to have you here. I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial on AmiBroker and optimizing a trading system. Now this is without a doubt the single coolest thing in the entire world of trading platforms or ch charting packages, at least the, that's what I believe. This is so fantastic, you are absolutely going to love it. What we're doing, optimizing a trading system means that we can put in like a few different parameters like, you know, say we want to test a moving average and we want to test moving average crossovers from one to a hundred days, like moving averages. We can test all of those within literally a matter of minutes and find the best one and Amy Broker will do it all for us. How good is that? I really do love this charting program. It's probably one of the best bang for your buck charting programs out there. Um, but but that's enough of my little rant. What we're going to do, well, let's just jump straight into it. First of all, we need to look at our AMI Broker formula language, our AFL. And to do that, we click analysis up the top here and order, oh no, formula editor. So that's our formula editor and this is where we, we sort of write our formula or our code. Um, what I've got is at the website, I've already got some here. Um, you can just copy and paste that or actually preferably you just type it out because you, if you copy and paste it from the website, you might get a few extra characters or HTML characters um, and it may not work. But if we do put that in, if we put that in properly, um, so if it doesn't work, just type it out and it definitely will work. Um, now, let's go through the formula language really quickly. The first part here is where we actually set up our optimizing or our optimize setting. So, first of all, this, this little bit here, fast MA length and slow MA length, um, these are simply arrays. So it's what they call arrays in, in the coding world. Now, I'm definitely not a coder, so I'll try and explain this um, easily. Basically, it's like an object. It's like you can create anything and you can call it anything you like. Um, so long as you go, if you go um, high there, then every time Emmy Broker sees high there, um, it will equal this little bit of code here. And um, when the code goes blue, so we've got our optimize function and it's gone blue, then you know that Emmy Broker recognizes it. It's very handy that way. So we're setting up this word to mean every time Emmy Broker sees it, it will optimize and uh, fast moving average or, F or FMA. This is what we're calling it. So this is what the column will appear as or FMA. This will be in our results. Now, the first one is 100 days. That's, uh, that's what we want it to start with. So if all else fails, we want it to be default of 100 days. Now, um, we want our minimum uh, optimizing function or we want it to start optimizing at five days. We want it to end optimizing at 100 days. So we want it to, in other words, between 5 and 100 days. And we want it to move up in one day increments. So how good is that? That's very, very simple, right? So that's our column. That's our default. That is our lowest, uh, our lowest sort of uh, one that we want to start with. That's the highest one we want to end with. And that's the increments we want to um, move up you know, to, to test these in one day increments. Same deal for the next one. That's our slow moving average length or slow MA length. Again, every time it sees that word, it's going to optimize. It's going to give us a column that says SMA. It's going to start with as a default 25 days, uh, start with one, end with 100 and move up in one day increments. Now, once we've done that, what we're doing is um, is we're setting up our moving average. So again, we're, do we're doing it using another array. So this time we're creating a word, we're saying fast MA equals moving average, and we know Amy Broker recognizes it because it's blue. Uh, it's gone moving average, the close of the previous array that we created before. So fast moving average length. So what that's going to do is that's going to um, is it's going to give us our moving average of a closing price of you know of uh, of the optimizing function that we just set up before. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and then last but not least, so same for the slow MA function as well, moving average function. And last but not least, we set up our buy and sell um, parameters. So when we want when we want it to trigger a buy, when we want it to trigger a sell, we want it to cross um, the fast moving average above the slow moving average and vice versa for a sell. So all of this, when we 
do this, I'll show you exactly what happens. So we click Tools, we go to Send to Automatic Analysis, and it brings up our Automatic Analysis toolbox. Now really quickly from left to right, we might want to use a... Oh, let's just back test it on the current symbol. So we'll back test it on the current symbol. You could also use it on a filter if you wanted to, like a, you know, a hundred stocks or, you know, a watch list that you've set up previously. Let's say we want to back test it over the last 10 years. Um, we'll say from 2002 to 2012. No worries there. And um, so that's just under our range function. We click from. If we want the last five days, we just go, or, you know, click this one, the last five days, what, last 10 days, last 300 days whatever we want it to be but under these circumstances we're just going to go this from to to and from range so 10 years the last 10 years and we just quickly click settings make sure it's set to daily because we want it to be a daily moving average and report we want it to be on trade list click ok and then instead of clicking back test we actually click optimize if we click on the arrow on the right hand side just make sure it's set to portfolio optimization um, you know that's the default and that'll just help us if we're actually using you know 100 different stocks instead of just one click on that and it says it might take a little bit of time do we want to proceed yeah sure and you'll find that within just a few short minutes this actually will not take very long it might take probably about one or two minutes all up and as you can oh as you can see three minutes to go in other words so this is going to give us all of the the details within about three minutes that's and it's literally performing nine thousand six hundred different back tests which is just phenomenal. So it means that we don't have to do it ourselves. It means that the, the machine is doing it for us. So we'll come back when it's finished. There we go, it's finished. And so as you can see, it's brought up all of these results and a whole bunch of different things that we can measure our trading system by. First of all, it starts by net profit. So we could, we could measure it by net profit if we really wanted to, but there are other ways that we can measure it by. First of all, next of all, we've got um, percentage profit, obviously. We've got compound annual return. Um, then we've got risk-adjusted return as well, and maximum trade drawdown, maximum um, trade percentage drawdown, maximum system drawdown. Uh, this is my personal favorite here. Over here, we've got... Compound, compound annual return divided by maximum drawdown. So this just basically tells us if we, if we, the higher the better, obviously, um, and it just tells us, you know, the the system that works the best that has the the highest compound annual return versus the maximum drawdown. Um, apart from that, we've also got things like the number of trades here as well, the average, um, the average percent profit and loss. The average number of losers um, around about here somewhere. The average number of winners here as well. So yeah, so a lot of really fantastic stuff. And then right at the end, it shows us our... See these columns that we set up before? The FMA and the SMA? Fast moving average, slow moving average. As you can see on this particular stock, I think we were testing this on the All Ordinaries, um, the fast moving average is actually a little bit slower than the slow moving average, which makes this not a trend following system, it actually makes it a mean reversion system, um, so the opposite of a trend following system. And so yeah, so it just gives you an idea of which ones might be more successful on this particular stock during that particular time, and it gives you a whole bunch of things that you can, can me test and measure it by just to make your job a little bit easier as, as a trader or investor. And obviously, it's not just for moving averages. You can use it for any other tool. You can use it for Bollinger Bands. You could use it for, um, for highest high values, for a whole bunch of other things. Basically, whatever your, whatever your poison is, choose that one, and you can use optimizing to your favor or to your benefit. Guys, I hope that has helped in some small way. Um, happy trending until next time we meet. Bye for now.